Well, hello, Mustangs. I'm going to explain to you how we're going to play the midfield position this year. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you on this screen is that we have, as typical, our defenders on the field, three defenders, our goalie. We have three offensive players here in green. And this red X signifies what we're trying to score. That's their goal, their goalie. And we have the two build-out lines. Here's the build-out line that's dashed right here. Here's a build out line that's dashed right here. And then are the two midfielders on the field. Now I'm going to categorize the midfielders this year as either an offensive midfielder that I have here in green, it says MF offense, or midfielder defense in blue, MF defense. Now the first thing I want you to note is that basically as a defender, you have two thirds of the field that you cover. That's a large part of the field. And defense is really these two thirds down here below their build out line. Okay. For offense, it's really this two thirds up here above our build out line. And I'm gonna show that to you. I'm just gonna highlight this. Look at this. This two thirds of the field right here, the offensive person covers. This two thirds of field right here, the defensive person covers. You see, sort of see that this middle part overlaps. Now, let me start with the offensive midfielder. The first thing I want you to do is always try to remember, you really want to keep the ball in front of you. So if our offense is marching down the field, let me march them down the field. They got the ball down here. Your role would not be to run up and try to take the ball from the offense. Your role is to be sort of like to be behind. And that's a really important point because that way at the ball, their defense sort of kicks it back out. You're right there to kick it right back in there. Kick it in towards the wing, kick it towards the goal if there's a middle offensive person there. Try to get it back up there. If they march down the field further, and people start moving around, imagine them, it looks like this. Well, remember, you want to be behind the ball in case that ball kicks back out, you can shoot it back in there. Another thing I want you to try to remember is sort of paint a picture in your mind. Just think about triangles. Sometimes everybody gets all the way down here next to the end line. And your first thing you might think of is run down and get right in the middle of it. Well, if that happens, this ends up being a really flat line. You're all in line. And then if the ball pops out, well, we have nobody there. But remember their team will be there because they got people all over. They're gonna have somebody right here. That ball pops out and they're gonna be able to march it down the field. We don't want that to happen. So a nice way to think about that is to think of triangles, okay? So if that ball is there, you got two defenders, you wanna make it, or two of our offensive people, you wanna make a triangle, where would the triangle be? You'd be right there, there's a nice triangle. If the ball is over here, you got two offensive people, Maybe your triangle would look like this, okay? Try to keep triangles so in case that ball pops out, you can shoot it in the goal or pass it up to one of our people. Now, the next point I'm going to make is when that ball is all the way down there on the other end of the field, where should our defense be? When I remember our midfielder defense runs all this portion of the field. So they will, again, want to be in line with the ball as well. Okay? So now if the ball pops out, it has to get past our offensive midfielder, then past our defensive midfielder before it can come down the field. And if they happen to start, get the ball and start coming down the field, they're dribbling, so they have to probably go a little bit slow. That's when the midfielder defense sees them and sprints to get past them and try to interfere, get the ball and clear it back up the field. Now I'm gonna put this ball back down there, put our defensive midfielder down here. You don't go past the build out line, stay back here. Where should our defenders be? Well, we like to push up the field a little bit. This year, I'd like you to be just above our build-out line. And I don't want you to go all the way to the midfield line because we're on this big, giant field. And if you get all the way up here, it gives them too much space. Okay, but If you go above, around our build-out line or just above it, that seems to be like a good position. Okay, so now imagine they do a good job. The other team does a good job, brings them all the way down here. Our defense is doing a terrific job attacking and rotating. 
where should the midfield defender be? Well, the midfield defender, your job is to attack the ball. If you notice that we're doing pretty good with our two people attacking here and this person's in position, well, I want you to see the field. If they happen to have a player over here, you need to see that field. You might think, wow, man, that person's open. If they pass it there, we're in serious trouble. So maybe you want to be between the ball and that person. That person comes down here, be between the ball and that person. You get a chance to attack, attack, see the field. Just try to make some fun decisions and have a good time with it. The same deal goes for the offensive person down here on, in, on the midfield. If the ball is down here on the offense, the ball is kicking around, you got a nice triangle going. Maybe if the ball pops out over here, this person gets the ball. And you might think, let me move that triangle all the way. You might think, you know what? Oh boy, if I get over here, I'm open. You know, have some fun with it. Try to get open, play your position. If the ball gets past you, race to get back in there and keep it with your offensive team. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about are corner kicks. Now, remember on corner kicks, we run a stack, which always includes the three offensive people. I don't care what order you get into. You guys figure it out. You know where to run. We'll also put the midfield offense in there, too, wherever in the stack. The ball is in the corner. It's the defensive midfielder that's always going to kick that ball, the corner kick. They'll come down here. They'll yell stack. Everybody gets in line. The midfield defender raises their finger. Everybody runs to position and they kicks the corner kick. And when they kick the corner kick in front of the goal, they race back to play their defensive position. Okay. Midfield defender kicks the corner kick, races back to play their defensive position. Well, there you have it, Mustangs. I'm really excited to see how this works out on the field. Have some fun with it.